Party actually out there protesting, working, fighting against Donald Trump. Um, and this is a level of energy that the Democrats can't, uh, they can't give up. They can't not harness it. Because if they don't harness it, if they don't put somebody um, up for uh, nomination against Donald Trump in 2020, we're going to have eight years of Donald Trump. That's just the way that it is. And uh, frankly, the way that this, Demo- that this Democratic Party is versus the way that the Republican Party is, like the Republican Party is dead man walking as far as I'm concerned. Um, they are not a, a strong governing party and they haven't been for a long time. Um, it's just the death throes of, uh, of the wrong side of history as far as I'm concerned. Um, and here's the thing that, I'll, that I will say. It, se- it seems really disingenuous that we don't already have something for the dreamers that we don't already have a uh, a program for them because quite frankly um it just it it just looks like the republican party doesn't want to have 700,000 or 800,000 new uh new democratic voters that's just what it looks like uh on that side of things so ultimately i hope that everybody does the right thing and then things move on i'm not feeling overly optimistic about it but you know it's difficult dark times that we live in here folks and you know what that's gonna do it for episode number 14 of the john du long show it's two weeks in a row that we're knocking on an hour so uh, this show's starting to actually take some shape to it we're starting to actually have a bit of uh kind of a regular flow again so uh thank you so much for listening this show is produced by me with music from all plays here. You can check them out at loyaltyfreakmusic.com. You can follow the show on facebook.com slash the John Dulong Show. Email into the show at johndulong at gmail.com. And you can follow me on social media at Jibberty, J-I-B-E-R-D-Y. Make sure that you subscribe to the show on iTunes or Google Play. And if you could, rate and review, as that helps get us more folks listening. Another great way uh, to help out is to tell a friend about the show, get that word out, and of course, make sure that you tune in every Monday for the weekly dose of Monday morning nonsense. Busy week. Busy, busy week. So glad to have you here. So, for John Dulong, I'm John Dulong, and remember... Try not to be too hard on the kids doing the Tide Pod Challenge. They were probably just meant to be stains anyhow. Thanks. You didn't think I was going to talk about the Tide Pod Challenge, did you? All over the internet. I'm not going to be talking about it. What are you, crazy? Oh, my, my, my. You know, as I'm recording this, it's Sunday. Um. Sunday afternoon, about one o'clock, and uh, my favorite wrestling event is tonight. I'm going to be at work, unfortunately, so I'm going to miss it. Um, so I'm going to actually just a little bit of bonus material here at the end of the show. Uh, we're going to jump forward in time uh, to when I've gotten the chance to actually see who wins the Royal Rumble. Uh, it's a 30-man event. This year is the first year that they're doing two Royal Rumbles, one women's, one men's. Um, so we're going to jump forward ahead in time here to uh, my reaction to both Royal Rumble winners. Here we go. Okay, so officially from this point out, we've got some Royal Rumble spoilers. So anybody who hasn't watched it, You've been warned. Holy shit, guys. Fucking Shinsuke Nakamura <laughs> and Asuka. And they did the Women's Rumble last. And Ronda Rousey. Um, I th- I really am looking forward to watching this whole show because, like, like I said, Royal Rumble is my favorite show of the year. Um, it actually kind of outstrips WrestleMania for me, even though, like, WrestleMania is the show of the year. I love the Royal Rumble just because the Royal Rumble match itself is so much fun. Uh, and it's like all this potential and all of these great, uh, great potential moments. And like you get uh, like Rey Mysterio came back, uh, Beth Phoenix came back, you know, like all, all of these amazing uh, legends 
come back and you get surprise entrance, uh, particularly in this case from NXT. Uh, you get the surprise this year of Ronda Rousey showing up, um, even though she was supposed to be filming some movie outside of the country. I don't know. Anyhow, um, I'm looking forward to watching this whole show. Uh, I think that this was like the first time in like, oh, God, maybe maybe five years that they haven't gone for something really disappointing. Um, so Shinsuke Nakamura, that's really exciting because that means we're going to see AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura at WrestleMania, which should just be like the modern day uh, Ricky the Dragon scene vote versus Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, and then Asuka is probably going to be taking on um, Alexa Bliss, but there's, there's this whole thing with, with Rousey now, like what's going to happen with Rousey? I just, uh, I can't wait. Anyhow, that's going to be it. Um, we've already gone like five minutes after the credits now. So, uh, bye.